Hi, I'm Joe James, and today we're going to talk about Dijkstra's algorithm to solve single source shortest path problems. The single source shortest path problem is to find the shortest path from one designated vertex, which we'll call the source, to every other vertex in the graph. Dijkstra's works in directed or undirected graphs and it only works in graphs with non-negative edge weights. Zero edge weights are okay, but non-negative edge weights. So let's take a look at an undirected graph. This is the example we'll use. We've picked a source vertex in the top left corner. We're going to run Dijkstra's algorithm on this undirected graph. We'll find the shortest path from S to every other vertex in the graph. We initialize the distance to the source to zero and the distance to all other vertices to infinity. Now we relax all out edges from S. And by relax, I mean we'll check if this edge can give us a shorter path to its connected vertex than our current shortest path. Since all other paths are currently infinity, of course we're going to improve on those times. So we'll relax the edges in alphabetical order, starting with SA. This edge gives us a distance from S of 8, with the last vertex in the path as S. So we'll mark SA as done by marking it blue. Next, we'll relax edge SC with a weight of 6. This gives us a distance from S to C of 6 and the last vertex in the path is S. Next is edge SD, which gives us a path to D with distance of 5 coming from vertex S. Now we've relaxed all of S's edges, so we need to pick the next vertex to move to. We choose the vertex that is closest to the source based on our current distance estimates. Vertex D has distance of 5, so D is the closest. Now we'll relax all the edges out of D that we have not yet relaxed. There are three, so we'll handle them alphabetically. Edge AD has a weight of 2. If we add that to D's current distance from the source of 5, we see that we have just found a shorter path to A than the 8 that we had. We can get there by in 7. S to D is 5 and D to A is 2, so we can reach A with a distance of 7 by passing through vertex D. Next we'll look at CD with a weight of 3. But that doesn't give us a shorter path than what we already have. So we mark CD as done, and we move on. Next we look at edge DF has a weight of 4. We add this 4 to D's distance from the source, and we get a distance of 9 for F via vertex D. Now we're done with all of D's edges. So what is our next nearest vertex to the source? C with a distance of 6 from the source. C has only one remaining edge to relax, which gives us a distance of 15 to F. But that is worse than the distance we already have of only 9. So we mark that edge as done and move on. The next nearest vertex to the source is A, with a distance of 7. A has only one edge that we haven't seen yet. It gives us a distance of 8 to vertex E, so we update E's distance and the preceding vertex, which is A. Next we visit vertex E. E has two edges to relax. Edge BE gives us a distance 2B of 14, so we update B's distance. Now you can see that these predecessor values can be used to trace the shortest path to any vertex. 
Here's the path we took to get to B. You can see that the edge weights all add up to 14. And you can also see that by tracing uh, B's predecessor is E, E's predecessor is A, A's predecessor is D, D's predecessor is S. And that's how we got from the source to vertex B. Next we'll relax edge EG. That gives us a distance to G of 12. Now we visit vertex F because it's the closest to the source that we haven't visited yet. F has one edge to relax, which gives us a free ride to G. So we now have a path to G that is three better than we had before. So we're going to update G's distance to 9, coming from vertex F. Then we move to vertex G. But G has no edges to relax, so we move to vertex B, which also has no edges to relax. So now we're done. Now we have the shortest distances from S to every other vertex. And we can trace the paths we followed using our predecessor values. So Dijkstra's algorithm was developed by Edsger Dijkstra in 1956. It uses a min priority queue or a min heap to find the next nearest vertex. It is known as a greedy algorithm because it always selects the shortest of the available options. And it runs in time big O of E log V, where E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices in the graph. I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.